We are here with Vijay Prabhu, who is the CEO of Little Earth. Vijay, exciting offerings, everything centering around nature. Why is that? Tell us more. I've always been an Uti boy and living in Uti, you don't get much of an influence of the cities. So that's what we've actually taken and we've taken in nature, heritage into all our properties. You know, that's what people really want. They, they want to, you know, leave Bangalore, get out from the hustle and bustle of city life. And your offerings are actually an answer to all the stress, all the noise, all the distractions, and you know, just for them to rejuvenate themselves. Can you tell us what has gone into building these properties and everything so sustainable and inclined to nature? So the properties we have, A is location. Uh, you can't beat us in terms of location. We have some of the best locations that you could ever think of. Uh, we don't disturb nature. We try to work with nature. And in order of being sustainable, we look at different uh, products or different bouquets, which and how we can sort of, you know, bank on each other to be able to help out. Like if you take Destiny, for example, uh, we have, I mean, it's a fabulous property. It, it fits so many genres in terms of corporates use it for outbound training, leadership building programs. Uh, we have a school program because we have a farm, we have the dairy farm. So what we do is we work with schools uh, based on their curriculum. We tailor make a three day or a five day uh, program. So if you're studying something in, in, in science or in this thing, we, we actually practically have it out there on field. So get, we get out of the theoretical knowledge into a practical base. Wow. Uh, you know, uh, I saw videos that you shared with me a short while back extremely impressive and I think it's really unique in its own way. Uh, let me ask you, uh, for all those who have visited your property, what would they say about, you know, what is it that they would have loved from your place? Hospitality. We have incredible hospitality and so it's all down to the staff. Uh, one thing which we've drilled into the staff is, uh, you're the owners of the property. Wow. Treat everybody the way you would like to be treated if you went to another property as a guest. And that's it. If you look at all our reviews and everything, it's only about hospitality, even location, everything. But what people love and why they come back and why they look for more properties from us is all about our hospitality. So, so with a lot of uh, you know visitors, customers opting for your property, uh, let's talk about uh, sustainability. Would you have any initiatives at your property that you look at in terms of recycling or water conservation? Oh yes, so uh, we, uh, we're probably, you know, a very high ARR group, but given that we're a very high ARR group, we were the first who actually went into removing, uh, if you went into any hotel, you would get your disposable soaps and shampoos and uh, thing. we removed it, we went into just regular dispensers in the thing. We got good produce, good bulk produce, put it in there. So we've cut out plastic completely. Mm, okay. And um, well, but isn't that a costly affair? Actually, it's a cheaper affair. It's actually much, much cheaper. But uh, everybody goes in because when you go into a hotel, you want to see everything, you know, spread out there. You go into the bathroom, you want to see that whole array of products. But mm. we don't. We, we, we sell very, very differently. Great. And I think most of the people who come there come because they know about you and your practices. Yes. Okay. You also have, uh, you know, something on agriculture side to side and also a dairy farm. Can you tell us more about these? Yeah. So in terms of agriculture, we actually grow a whole uh, bouquet of uh, English vegetables. Wow. So we grow right from your regular carrot, cabbage, potatoes to different types of lettuce, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, the zucchinis. And we grow them on a large scale. Okay. We grow them on a very large scale. Um, we do it scientifically. We are not organic because organic, the Indian market is not ready for organic as yet. But yes, we do it scientifically. And uh, so wait, do you use this? Do you sell them? Oh, we use it, but we have a, our production is so large that we actually have to sell it. We okay. have to sell most of it out. Okay. Let's go to uh, the dairy farming at the same time. Uh, tell us Dairy more. farming is one of the toughest businesses to be in. Okay. Uh, it's, it's been tough for us also, but yes, it's a good business. It's, the idea was eventually to be able to uh, go into uh, making cheese, mm. but uh, where it helps us is with the dairy farms, we get a lot of uh, organic manure. It actually helps us with our uh, agricultural, agricultural practices. 
and with the farm stay people like to see because a lot of people now you know if you ask them where do you get milk if you ask a kid from the city he'll say i get it from nilgiris or from mother dairy or something so he doesn't relate to the fact that it's a cow a lot of kids have actually never seen a cow actually being milked so it's it's a it's a lovely experience to have it as a part of the farm stay wow so so what are your plus points if you would like to invite someone to your place you know what are the highlights so every property has a different thing so um if you look at kingscliff and sherlock which we have in uti it's all about heritage uh it's it's colonial bungalows made into boutique hotels um very different experience fine dining food is very good if you went into destiny destiny is completely uh catered to different segments but we've also done something where we've been bold enough to actually not have any televisions in the room mm. we don't have wifi in the rooms the idea is if you come as a family you holiday as a family because what happens in general we've seen you go to any posh hotel or a five star anything the kids will go put on the tv or the parents will be watching a movie or the kids are sent into an activity center they go here most of our activities are centered around community so Great. you would have to do so you know you go out with your kid horse riding or you'll go for a trek or you go to fish together we have so many activities that you do together as a family amazing and i believe you've been with canra entrepreneurs for some time yes for a short time for i think almost about 2 years now 2 years yeah how has been your experience and what do you see as the benefits that you have personally so i'm not a networking yeah. guy but after coming to canra canra entrepreneurs and being added onto the whatsapp list okay. and seeing everybody posting in fact i've posted a few things and the response has been very good wow uh, a lot of people have got in touch with me you know if i've said like you know i need somebody for hr or if i need for a requirement or anything uh, i put it in fact i just posted the destiny video and uh, cletus called me a couple of days ago and he said you know what would you have a big group you know will you be able to accommodate so unfortunately i couldn't but it has helped it I, opens I doors it for does. opportunities it does. as it does. well it does well uh, and and i think that's been wonderful so if anyone wants to reach out to you how would they do that well my number is there on the ke thing otherwise uh, we have a website which is littleearth.in littleearth.in in so littleearth has only one e but so it's l i t t l e a r t h .in and all our numbers are there on behalf of canra entrepreneurs we wish you all the best thank you and look forward to continued success thank you thank, thank you, you.